Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Backbone. In the last episode, we saw something absolutely horrible. We we were looking for the little otter guy and um he uh he, him him dead. Um but I, it seems like the game has started us uh at the oh god, what just happened scene. Um, so let's let's go through that real quick. I hope those choices didn't matter because I wasn't paying attention. Um, but so it goes. Oh, poor boy. Yep. New objective. Um. I forgot what to do with my life. Oh, that's a mood. Um, let's see. A wishing well. How do I interact? There we go. Someone has been using this as a public toilet. I'm not sure flipping a coin would help. I need to figure out what voice I want to give. Anatoly. Oh, lilac bush. Has that same herbal sting to it. Ugh. No. At least it looks like Anatoly. Bopnik? Um, cut to the chase. Just want a friendly chit chat. Got any loons for you and your friends? I want to make detective money. I think we're scared of cops. I'm not a cop, a private investigator, a poor one. You're lying. Better be honest. Honestly, Takes you places you heard. Um, I'm not lying. Ah, you're ugly, boring, and you're in my way. Got somewhere better to be? I just want to go home to your mom. She must be nice. They come in with you then. Oh, well done. Such a clever joke. I'm going to take your money without doing the work, so I'm smarter than you. Now buckle up. <sighs> oh. Welp. Game over. Madam? I'm assuming. You're on the title screen. Whomst are you? Oh, it's you. Wait, she's the... Was she inside the bar? Bite. Cannibal place. Where's my mouse? Oh, there it is. Okay, how are Latour? We're safe here. You can relax. Are you sure no one followed us? I'm sure. Let's talk. What about? Alright, let me get things started. Go ahead. I'm a writer. I've been researching Clarissa Bloodworth for a book on the power and influence I'm working on. Are you interested in Bloodworth? How did you find me in the park, is what I want to know more. Well, I left the bite just after you got kicked out. I saw you running around. I wonder what madness you were up to. Uh, just a usual night for me. I staked out the alley behind the bite on a hunch. Twenty minutes later, bingo. Puking raccoon. Um. Could have been usual back alley puking. Then I followed you, hoping to ask what happened. Not sure why I let you drink that whole bottle first. Glad you found me. Let's hope it was worth my while. Why are you interested in a bloodworth? Why am I giving everyone this accent? 
She's maybe the most unofficially powerful person in the city. Since she took over as head of our family, she's been expanding. New drugs, high-profile visitors to the bite, and more. So, you're an expert on Clarissa? You could say that. I've never talked to her directly, though, and you have. What's she like up close? Smart. She could see right through me. Yeah, that's my impression, too. She wouldn't get that far without knowing how to read people and their intentions. What kind of visitors are you talking about? Did you know there's a VIP lounge upstairs at the bar? Super exclusive. Some real influential guys have been up seen there. I'm talking top bankers, senior police, even apes. Um, I've been up there. I'm guessing you weren't invited. Bloodworth is getting some powerful regulars. No such thing as simple drinking with these kind of folks. Is she pushing drugs? Specifically monkey butt, incredibly potent. Super addictive, she serves the clean variety at the bite. And the lousier version is turning up on the streets. Potent how? The pure version is basically an herb infused with some chemical compounds. It loosens up the tongue, which for someone like Bloodworth could serve a purpose. Let's move on. Mm-hmm. Who are you working for? Myself. As for my funding, there's a guy. A rich, important... Idiot. It's an ego trip for him, but he knows I don't like being told what to do. Uh... Who's the guy? The name wouldn't mean anything to you, but he thinks the book will make him look good and dish the dirt on his rivals. And are you going to make him look good? No. Trick will be letting him believe th that I have. You always tell it like it is, huh? When the time is right, especially when someone really needs telling. Uh, tell me about the book. I'm studying different forms of power and investigating who really holds the most influence in the city. And what's that going to accomplish? People can't remake society if they don't realize it's broken. Well, that makes sense. Why am I here? What do you want from me? First, I want you to trust me, like I trusted you just now. What did you find at the bite? I don't want anyone to get anyone wrapped up in this. Wouldn't it feel nice to share the burden with somebody? <sighs> yes, that'd be nice. I'm here to listen. I can help. What did you find? It's a long story. Start from the beginning. On our way here, you told me you're a PI. What led you to the bite in the first place? I was looking for someone. A lead on a case? Uh, I was hired to track a guy. Take some photos. Hmm? Why? What's his deal? Um, not sure. That's what I was trying to find out. I see. Did you find him? Uh, yes. He's a corpse. What? Where? In the bite's basement. They are cutting my target up into pieces. What the heck? Um, there are other bodies hanging from the ceiling. I saw boxes of flesh. It wasn't just one body. Are you joking? I wish I was. Let me get this straight. Bloodworth is cutting up people in the basement of the bite and then putting them into boxes? Hence the puking. I wouldn't put killing people past her, but this? Why? Why would I know? I thought you were a detective. Never mind. I don't ask for this. I'm not a murder detective. Okay, wow, it really was an awful night for you. What are you going to do now? <laughs> I'd die probably. That's the spirit. Seriously though, how do we deal with your new situation? Um. I'm good. Everything is good. Nothing is happening. Denial. Ah, oh, denial. See? How cute. But I don't follow you through the night all night. <laughs> but I didn't follow you through the city all night for nothing. I have a proposition. 
What is it? I want to invite you on an adventure. Can you be more specific? Work with me. Let's find the truth about Bloodworth. She's clearly more dangerous than I thought. She is, but what could we do? I've never had a partner before, but my gut feeling says I can trust you. You found something that I couldn't, and you owe me one. Uh. I like her. I trust her. Thanks. Just imagine doing your thing while I work behind the scenes. Teamwork. Also, I'll pay you. Partner could be nice. My smart to your stubbornness, stream team. You're right. Okay. Now, tea time. Mind brewing some? But I'm the guest. And I'm the masterman pulling the strings. Get brewing. <gasps> yeah. Oh. oh, we don't have our coat on. Will you look forward? Do you have a forward-facing front sprite when you don't have a coat? No? Okay. What was run again? I don't think I know it. Do I need to fill the water? Oh, there's my coat. Turn the kettle on. Spicy tea. I know what I prefer. Uh, I don't know. I think I like her. It's been a while since I met someone like her. Uh, like whom exactly? Um, I don't know. She seems curious, smart, and kind. It's nice to have someone like that around. A kettle on, sir. Coming right up. Did you kettle boxes? You just moved in. Oh, I did not see what she said. Where are we? Fox, not the most picturesque part of the city, but at least it's hard to find. Hold on, can I click this again? Oh, nope, I've missed a dialogue forever, alas. I have a similar one in my office. No good investigator should be without one. Oh, lovely. Turn the kettle off. Oh, I love the raccoon. Boy, he's so cute. I wonder if she likes black tea. Well, she wouldn't have it on her. Black tea, nice. Don't burn your tongue. <laughs> Way ahead of you. Oof. Yeah, I do that. Oh. oh. So, the case. We need to figure out what happens to the flesh. Did you see the starling cider delivery truck in the bite alley? Yeah, and I had to dig around. You're thinking what I'm thinking. Truck smuggles the flesh away. Right. Um, where are you going with this? What if I told you it's not a real starling cider van? Why are you- why bother making a fake? That was my question before. I'd seen it a few times while researching the bite, but I guess now we know. You followed it, didn't you? I tried, but I'm no expert at healing stuff. I'm a rider, not a fighter. So you have no idea where it goes after the bite? Well, luckily there are people you can pay to keep an eye on things. Long story short, I know it delivers to somewhere in Gastown. Um, but not exactly. No, my informant tracked it to the main commercial block, then lost it. But I figured out that it spends tonight in the Bite Alley before going to Gastown the next day. So it'll be Gastown tomorrow. Yep. You should figure out exactly where it delivers investigate. We have to learn where that flesh goes. Um, 
so it's a stakeout. Sure, but look for where Starling is stocked. It's a fake truck, but the right place will probably still sell it to avoid suspicion. That'll help you narrow things down. That's some good thinking. Thank you, it's a needle in the haystack, but that's all we have for now. <laughs> well, we know it's not safe. But it has to be done. The only thing to fear is fear itself. You can do this. <sighs> of course it could be tracking me. You already compromised your safety. What's the point of stopping now? You got nothing to lose. Ugh, fine, I have to call Odette. Whoever that is, go ahead. The phone is right there. Arrange a taxi to us down while you're at it. I've got a man for that. Be right back. <sighs> phone. Oh, that's a phone? But it. Uh, but it. This is Detective Latour. Sorry to call you so early. Mr. Latour, I was putting to come home tonight. Did you see him? Um. I'm not sure how to put it. I'm sure it's nothing worse than I've imagined. So please, Mr. Latour, put me out of my misery. Uh, listen, you should file the missing person report. Oh, oh, Shepard. Please, try to move on with your life. Is he, is he not coming back? No, I'm sorry, I have to go. But please wait. <laughs> well, good luck, madam. It was probably a nicer way to do that. I don't think our raccoon fellow is quite as articulate. I don't think I'm quite as articulate. But, hmm. Maybe I should maybe we should have delegated that task. Let's call mom. Little residence. Uh Little residence. Um Hey mom. Howie, what time is it? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? Mom, I'm fine, just checking in. No call for weeks, and you check in at then you check in at five AM Uh Sorry, I've been busy working all that. What work? Do you need money? Um I have a proper job now, remember? Sure, a job. I just worry about you. What do you need then? I don't need anything, I'm fine. Well, now that you're here, maybe you can help me. I keep seeing these spiders under the bed. Spiders? Huh. Big ones? Huge. I'm not panicking. But where are they coming from? You should take a look for me because... Uh... I won't call for a week or two, don't worry, okay? Sure, I'll call you and we can be busy. Fine, fine. You never have time for your mother. Maybe you will when I die. Uh, love you. Don't skip breakfast and stop smoking. Bye. Uh-huh. Oh, it just occurs to me, it will occur to me earlier that, um, the prologue, I don't think comes with the base game. So I think we might have to do that after the main story. Dolly. It's Howard. Uh, you sound very awake. Aha! Howie. You think I was asleep? Sleep is for when you got no babies. Oh, poor dude. I hope he gets to rest. Um, I think you might need some sleep. Aha! Howie. One day you'll understand. Until then, what did old Totally due to the server morning call. Uh. Why are you so cheerful? My son just pooped. Why is that exciting? Hasn't pooped for days. What's a partner? Oh. 
you know, that, that, that's valid. Um, pick me up today at nine. I'm paying for the day. You bet. Howie and Tolly, the dynamic duo of detective boy partners. Crime lords, beware. Anatoly, please remember to put some clothes on. You the boss. Big day pay. I'll wear a tiny hat if you want. You at your place? No. One second, Renette. What's the address? Well, that's the wrong voice. Tell him to pick you up outside 1640 Alberni Street. It's a block away from here. Thanks, Tolly. 1640 Alberni. You know what? Yeah, on the dock? Wait, Howie, who's Renee? Who is she? Uh, tell you later. Can't wait. Gotta run. The poopy lad is being cranky. Dad life. Drive you soon. Well, that was an experience. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Uh, I was playing, um, Temtem and interaction buttons F. Okay, so start with the truck. Find where it's going. Call me during and after. I'll write you my number in a minute. Also, who's a dad? Uh, oh, that is my client. Elaborate. The one that hired me to stoop on the guy I found, dead in the bite. Her husband. Oh, poor woman. Yeah, I'm not sure I handled that well. You did not, but that's okay. We all deal with grief in different ways. Uh, what happens when I find the truck? Your goal is to confirm if it's smuggling flesh out of the bite. And to where? Or to whom? Anything you learn, report to me. Got it. I need a nap. You can stay here for as long as you want. This place is my little secret. I'll go home now and meet you back here to later tonight. Sure, speak to you later. Bye, Howard. Be careful out there. Goodbye, Renee. Oh boy, we got a partner now. This is going to be fun. Oh, look at those two. What happened to your ear, my guy? Well, you know, I can't tell you, but this one could make a difference, I think. Whoa, we love that for you. Time you stamped your name in the world. H-O-W-A-R-D. It's not about my name. In the name of your partner, stamp just underneath it. T-O-L-Y. Oh, I can't even have to read. I can't even observe the image. It was, it was nice. I liked it. Lovely raccoon. And, um, beaver? Here we are, Gaston. Shepherd Almighty, what a swanky place. Hmm. Looks can be deceiving. Doesn't apply to me. You go on and bother folks, and I'm going to get some quality Anatoly chill time. When's your truck coming? Uh, we'll see. Kick back in the meantime. I'll be here before you know it. Bring me a magazine or paper while you're at it. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, it's so hot, and I'm so lazy. You're telling me. We've made it somewhere. I wonder how many of my choices are going to come back and bite me later. I hope none. But maybe all of them will. What are you? What are all of you? I need a new couch or any couch. Let's look in here. Oh no, what are you? Sorry, sir. I'm waiting on a delivery. Could you come back later? Um, do you sell starting cider? Please come back later. I have to close the shop. Okay. I say going deeper. Hey friend, I'm Dorton Tuna. I give you fun facts whenever you press my button. Go ahead, press it. Do it. They are very nutritious as well as a great way to decorate your home. Plants emit an ultrasonic sound when injured or under stress. It's like the screaming. Beavers eat a million pizzas a day. No one thinks about you as much as you do. 
Clocks are old, very old. What part of your life is spent working? Officers are illegal. Sorry. You will carry an average of 64 liters of tears during your lifetime. Oh. Hiccups serve no purpose but to annoy you. Yeah, scientists don't actually know what they do. Your memories are not objective facts. They can also change over time without you noticing. Mm-hmm. Staring at yourself and healthy is not health. Well, hmm. Maybe I should try not reading. At one point, you were the youngest person to exist. When you drink from a cup, a little bit of your spit goes in a cup, and that's gross. The color you see in the dark is called intrinsic gray. Why did they give this thing so many lines? The louder you speak, the more correct your opinion is. Sure. There is always the last time you see anyone. That's terrifying. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Shh. Ah. You're saving all your money for a time when your brain is ready to enjoy it, but your body is not. Yeah. Everything in the universe is either a tree or not a tree. I mean, I guess. If you think about it, the brain named itself. Mm-hmm. Your skeleton is moist. Yeah. If you look to unfortunate repetitional semantics, a poo-poo is mostly less defensive than a pee-pee. What? Teeth are edible. I dislike that. One day you'll hug your friend for the last time and you might not know it. I hate that. Having headache is generally a symptom of leading a very, very sinful life. I don't think so. You can never completely know someone. Sadly. People who sneeze loudly are just looking for attention. I don't know. You can't extend short things. You were once a baby. That's true. Hang rent is one of the sneakiest forms of oppression. What? On average, people don't know what they're talking about. I'm so sorry. I need to stop. You were... You were born alone. You will die alone. Goodbye. Oh, I... I... You know what? That was worth it. <laughs> that was 100% worth it. Oh, that was lovely. I am so sorry, but also that was 100% worth it. Are you a squirrel? I love all of you. <gasps> Doggy. Oh. Welcome to Poochie's Read. Buy some books, please. They're good for you. Oh. Could you tell me about the local area? I'm a bookseller, not a tourist guide. But we do have the Gorman Scalavent around Gastown, if you're interested. Um, doesn't sound spicy enough for me. Huh. Well put. Oh, you got those things with pages and words. So this is a bookshop. <laughs> what are you in the market for? Um, what books would you recommend? I hate it when people ask me that question. Do your own research. Develop your own tastes. But aren't you the expert? Yes, forgive my outburst. I'm sure you're genuinely curious, but most folks just consume mindless diet of cultural zetgeist. Um... Well, what's been recently published? Recently, Love is in the Air and Kill Me If You Can. Oh, and a fascinating little book about the philosophy of lockpicking. What's one on lockpicking look like? It starts by explaining the fundamentals of how locks work and what we can learn about life from them. But of course it goes deeper. Ah, cool. Can I buy one of these two books? Care to be at least a bare minimum more specific? Um... Kill me if you can sounds more thrilling. Three loons, for sure. Yep. There you go, treat it well. Anything by Renee Wilson? Hmm, name rings a bell. Oh, the young fox writer. I got her book right here, yes. How was it received? To be honest, it wasn't quite an achievement to even get it published, but she did well not sounding hysterical. But you're about the first person to ask about it. What's the book called? An Introduction to Systemic State Power Dynamics. Not the catchiest. She's young. Yeah, debut at 25 years old. Really quite unusual. She managed to get it published. Enough about Renee. Anything on the apes? Oh yes, our glorious leaders. Whose treaties I am mandated to stock. Obviously, I have plentiful copies of the Ape Codex right here. I'll pass. Uh, let's move on. Been here long. I've been running the store for 12 years. Took over from my mama. Shepherd, bless her memory. If not her shelf organization system. Oh. Must be a real organized lady. Well... Was a real organized lady. Um. People still got an appetite for books. 
Enough to keep me in business, not enough to wake up and realize how low society has fallen. To say nothing of standards in literature. I like books. Then you're easily pleased and always welcome here. Bye for now. That was nice. I got a book. I'm slowly increasing my inventory. The hunted become the hunter. The hunter became prey. Great lift in the locker room. Oh, we still have that. A grubby discard ticket for the bite. Full of whatever news people want to be angry about. Small bag of cute looking seed. Picture of Odette. Oh. Oh. What else is in here? Interesting. How can we give it to do the newspaper? What's up, Brotendo? How's my man doing? Very good indeed. Anything that's not shoveling baby poop is a top notch good time in my book. Family life getting you down. Imagine someone small and loud, tugging at your tail and graving attention all day, every day. But it's love. Worth it. Doesn't sound like my jam. You do you, especially while you're paying me. <laughs> um. So, second son, coot, so, uh -huh. In a month, you need plenty of loons to have a kid, so I appreciate the good coward. I appreciate you. Howie, don't make me cry. I gotta go. Uh-huh. What animal are you? You look like you have muscle. Are you doggy? A shepherd. Sean? Um, yeah. I'm on my smoke break. Um. Uh. That's fine. I'm just passing the time. Well, heck, aren't we all? Um, faster than we think. Well, I guess it wouldn't kill me to make small talk once in a while. What are the locals like? They're all rude. Right though, because they live here. So why Electrix? You know where you stand with Electrix? Unlike everything else in this life. Hmm. Electrix stuff still breaks. And that's good, otherwise I'd be out of a job. You've got it all figured out. Yep. You own the place. Yeah, been here for a couple of years now. How are you liking it? rent here is so steep, it'd be cheaper in West End, but half the folks there don't even have a stable supply of juice. Oof. Well, you gotta follow the loons, I guess. Yeah, it just does my head in. I'm selling fancy new colored light bulbs while half the population rely on candles. Is it gonna get better? Doubt it. It is what it is. I mean, you can help other people. Make rent, make stuff, help others do the same. My motto, one day. No shame in looking at... Uh, I try to help people. Good for you, man. I'll leave you to it. Huh. Badger. Fluffy tail. Oh, what's this? Deli shop. A deli shop? Please tell me you do not sell the thing. Delta- Oh no, you're cute! Welcome! Can I interest you in some honey nut glazed apple sticks? Um... <laughs> Thank you, goodbye. You got any sterling cider? Sure! We got regular bread berry and pear. Expecting delivery today. I've got plenty of each in stock, why do you ask, hmm? Just curious, do you sell anything special? But you see is what you get, it's all quality produce. 
Uh, let's blend in. I'm looking for something fresh and seasonal. Well, I did finally get a new shipment of tomatoes and dry onions. I feel like I'm just reading a story to you all. Finally. It's been an unseasonably cold. Slowed down the growth of lots of crops at the greenery. The apes are taking care of it, they say. Oh, I didn't hear about that. Right, news about suboptimal agriculture output rarely makes the front pages. Hmm. Is it serious? We should be fine. It's just we're so reliant on the agriculture and the greenery. So fresh stuff is going to be more expensive for a while. Thank you. Goodbye. We sell it, but nothing special. Ocean crunchies. Good for the munchies. Oh, that's it. Oh, look at the possum. Uh-huh. Doesn't look too fresh. Oh. Could this be the place? I don't think so. Hmm. Oh. What What kind of... You're... Is it a basset hound? Oh my. What a magnificent snap to my boy. You've got a bone structure many kinds could only dream of. Um, thanks. I grew it myself. Of course, your kind has its own inherited problems, but I'd love to take a closer look if you don't mind. Perhaps there's a correlation. Uh, look at what? Could you bare your teeth like so? Say rar. Why? Your kind has a lower than average IQ for faux carnivores, often closely predicted by left and scissor links. Wouldn't you like to know? Ignorance is a choice. I choose to get far away from you. Bye. Uh, no thank you. I don't want to nick up. <laughs> we pushed him out all the way over here. Get your papers. you, Bo? No, I'm Mo. Who's Bo? The rabbit from Granville. Shush, go away. You're scaring off my clients. Got anything a lazy text driver would enjoy. You want news, crosswords, or I got a little something something for grown-ups. Um... What's the difficulty of the crosswords? Uh, perfect. I'll take it. Here you go. What's happening locally? What's happening? Like what? Uh, any suspicious traffic? Nope, I got things to count cars. Any funny locals I should watch out for? I'm funny and very local. Wanna hear a joke? Sure. Do you call a dead baby rodent? Peekaboo! I wish I could unhear that. You stink. I'm joking. But also, it's kind of true, huh? Anything spooky going on? Yeah, man. The pigeons are getting crazy. Somebody's got a poison. Oh no! Or else we're going to have geese or plague part two on our hands. No. Geezers don't deserve the hate. You got respect for dirty, mindless birds now? What's next? You opening the door for cockroach? Uh huh. Are you a tiger? Hi, sorry, someone barged in. What was I doing? I wasn't really doing much of talking or thinking. What happened to the music? Okay, we all knew it was the liquor store, but also I'm going to go give this dude his newspaper. Can I not talk to you? Hello? <sighs> okay. Looks official to me. Impressive. And... Well done, Grandpa. See you next week. Uh, 
Ah, Louis. What voice did I give you earlier? What happened to the music? Hello, name's Louis. What can I do for you on this fine day? Um, looking for something to treat myself. Ah, uh, very good. Are you looking for a dark or a light liquor, perhaps? That perfect balance in between. Um. Uh, what would someone like you recommend for someone like me? Uh, well, far be it for me to presume, but you seem like a man who likes to take the road less traveled, a creative type. Would I be wrong? Ah, oh, finally, someone gets me. Aha, then perhaps a modern, more experimental bottle, like a Moreau Oaked Red. Uh, maybe we'll keep it simple. Got Starling Cider? Of course, my friend, but if you want refreshing, perhaps I can recommend you my very own light stout. I have apple, cherry, and blueberry-infused varieties. Um, what if your new delivery contained the brand new flavors? Oh, uh, yes, that's possible, I suppose. Really are a sterling phonetic, hmm. Uh, I just have to try them, like, right now. Ah, uh, I really appreciate your enthusiasm, but I have to, uh, take inventory and uh, there's a uh, bookkeeping. Why so flustered, Louis? Something wrong. So, this is my shop. I won't be harangued. Harangued? Harunged? Haranguid. I won't be har haranguid like this in my own shop. Now, please, purchase something or leave immediately. Ah, uh, look. Louis, I'm a private investigator. We need to talk. Well, there's nothing. But if it will make you happy, leave me alone. Huh. Let's see. Where are you buying those crates from? Just my usual wholesale supplier. I love to only sell my own brews, but sadly people are slow to love him. If they had more taste, then... then... Um... You stock any merchandise from the bite? Well, like what? Isn't it a barn club? They don't export anything. Have you heard of Clarissa Bloodworth? I, I've i heard of her. Who hasn't? She owns the bar, the bite, I think it's called. She owns anything else, perhaps? I'm not sure. I don't, uh, I'm not familiar with the business dealings, I'm afraid. You got any buyers for those crates? I mean, I haven't even unpacked them, I told you. But, you know, how about a free sample of my own porter? You're not going to get me drunk. I just like to share my own bruise, that's all. Um, I know. What's in the crate, Louis? You talk or bad things will happen. Sir, please, I don't know what you want to hear, but this shop is my life. I'm a rational guy, Louise. This could be painless. Talk about what? You wouldn't understand. I mean... If there was something... Oh, nobody know. I hate Budworth. You'll be fine. This isn't just about me. If it was, then maybe. But I'm sorry. Please understand. Just leave me. Someone has to stop Clarissa. Help me. Her? He'll just make things worse. Louis, I'm investigating closer. I got your back. I suppose if you found a way into the storage room after I dropped this key... I'll take a look. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Great. See, so inspect it up close. There's a faded Starling Cider logo on the side. The box is simple construction of cheap wood with a flat lid. With the lid. The lid doesn't appear to have a lock on it, and there's no obvious way to open it. 
Inspect the lid. You run your fingers carefully along each edge of the... At one point, there's a tiny recess in the side. Lever up the lid. With a lever, the lid pops up from the ground. Look inside. Beneath the lids are a number of small packages individually wrapped in thick silvery paper. Sniff the package. The silver paper has a chemical tang. The rest of your olfactory observation is filled up with the musty basement smells of damp and old cigar smoke. Ah, oh, unwrap it. You peel back a layer of the silvery paper to reveal a neat square of flesh. Inspect. The flesh is light pink with striated texture. There's a melange. M mel um. Here's a melange of intoxicating scents, sweet, fatty, with notes of acidic tang. Oh, I wonder if the drugs actually, like, preserve body. You saw it. Illegal fish fillets. It's a dangerous black market. You think I don't know what fish smells like? Uh, some don't smell as fishy as you'd think. Uh, when did you find out what was in the crate? Only recently. I was told not to look, but I had to know if only I hadn't, then I could just pretend. Tell me everything. No one else will give you this chance. But but if she finds out I told you, I'll get thrown over the wall, you understand? If you tell a soul, I'm worse than dead. Um. My name is Howard, by the way. Well, Howard, I don't know about you, but I need a stiff drink. Thanks, but I'll pass. Oh, oh, puppy! That was whiplash. You're missing out, but fine by me. How did you end up with boxes full of flesh? No, what do you do with the boxes? Nothing. I just look after them until they're re-delivered. Delivery? A woman calls, asks for the usual. I get one of my boys to deliver the crate to her. I was instructed not to ask questions. Uh, the caller, who is she? Her name is Bajwa. It's all I can tell you, sir. I can write down the address for you. It's my head if Bloodworth hears of this. Your secret to stay with me, promise. Thank you for understanding and for listening. I'm not going to push him too much. He seems genuinely sad. <laughs> the poor boy. Thank you, Louise. I have to go now. Go? What are you going to do? Um, uh, gonna find out more about this Bajwa character. You weren't forced into this like I was. Why get involved with such nasty business? I wager you won't like where it leads you. We'll see. Just please swear you won't tell anyone about this. I can't bear to live in even more fear. You've got nothing to fear. Thank you. Shepherd guides you. Let's give him reassurance. Sure he does, like he guided you. I think it's time you left, sir. Uh, one last question. When is this Bajwa expecting delivery? Well, Joey took a crate over a few days ago. She's expecting a box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. Um, I'll deliver them. I have to meet the buyer. I, I can't. They'll suspect. And if it gets back to me, they, uh... Uh, I promise you, this won't get back to you. Give me the cigars. 
I, fine. I can't stop you. My life might be worthless, but other people will suffer if you're not careful. Stay safe, Louis. I hope we don't screw up. Oh, 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 the boy. Oh, I think, I think that's going to have to be it for, for this episode. Oh, oh no, look at him. Oh, I hope I don't screw anything up. <laughs> oh. Anyways. Uh, thank you so much for watching. As a as a reminder, I do stream on Twitch. And if that's not your thing, I do have a VOD channel where you can watch everything afterwards. If I remember to upload it, that is. Um, if you want to chat, or the best way to stay connected with me is through Discord. You can The link for that is down inside description along with my Twitch and the VOD channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, night, evening, or whatever time it is for you. And I shall see you all next time. Oh.